Sara Ott from Establish Her Ministries. She just came into town in LA like a few hours ago yes. and we decided to have lunch together over here in beautiful Beverly Hills right off of Rodeo Drive and we were just sitting there having lunch and God just like opened up this awesome conversation mm -hmm. about designer apparel you know mm -hmm. and I was sharing with Sarah that you know I, ex I recently experienced a really heartbreaking um, you know event in my life and God just showed me how to forgive beyond what capacity that I thought I could even possibly forgive and I told my best girlfriend I was like I am wearing this like it's a couture gown, like it's my favorite new dress. I am wearing forgiveness and it fits me like a glove and I look hot and I look sexy and it feels so good. And I was sharing this experience with Sarah and um, and she had this amazing revelation that I wanted, we just had to shoot this, this little video for you to share it with you. Well, we love the Lord so much and when He gives a word of revelation to us, we just believe that we are to be stewards of that and to give it back to anybody that would listen. And if, if this word is just for us, and that's enough. But as Rowena was sharing that with me, it just, it made me think of, if God is the great clothetier, if He is the one who from the very, very beginning, He clothed, He fashioned clothes for Adam and Eve in the garden. He is the, the great handy workman. And if He does that, to create garments for His daughters to wear, then how much more does the enemy create a knockoff mm -hmm. brand of garments. The scripture uses this word so many times, garments of heaviness versus garments of praise. And we want to be women who wear on the outside what has been fashioned by God on the inside. Garments of love, garments of forgiveness, garments of joy and peace. And the enemy would love to come in and do an outlet knockoff total cheap brand when Jesus, the most incredible kingdom clothetier, has made a couture gown for a woman to wear, to wear, one for me, for Sarah to wear. And we want to be women that do that. In Isaiah 61, the, the Word of God is living and active. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. We love this book. And in Isaiah 61 verse 3, it's, it's a charge and it says, that God is telling His people, and we believe this too, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the garment of heaviness. I think our God is in the business. In fact, I know He is. I don't think. Rowan and I both have experienced mm -hmm. His fashioning, that He is in the business of fashion design, that He takes clothes that are not us. Attitudes of resentment, attitudes mm -hmm. of, of unforgiveness, mm -hmm. attitudes of fear mm -hmm. or timidity. And he says, no, I died to replace your garments, mm -hmm. to give you a fashion that is made by me, a handiwork that's not manufactured by us, that right. we didn't go and buy somewhere, right. but that he fashioned, and like Rowena said at brunch, a complete tailored fit for her. The circumstance she came through, and I've been through many like that as well, was very difficult. It was very hard. But as she is vertically responsible to her walk with the Lord before she is horizontally responsible with, with people, she knew in her heart she wanted to wear the clothes of forgiveness. And those around her even noticed and said, you, you look amazing. You are wearing whatever your garment is what so is well. That? And isn't yeah. it true? I mean, here she is, someone who's gorgeous and beautiful, worked in the fashion industry for, what, 14 years. Yeah. Can't you tell when something is tailor-made mm -hmm. versus when something is right. like oversized, right. extra large, does right. not fit you? Right. The enemy wants us to walk around as if that's our fit. Mm -hmm. And the Lord says, no, 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 no. I have a tailor-made posture for you, a an outfit, a garment, a, a beautiful just dress that your friends will notice. Mm -hmm. And in this case, mm -hmm. Rowena could have chosen to walk around in the knockoff brand of that unforgiveness. That chunky old sweater that we're so comfortable in and we pick it up when we want to have a pity party mm -hmm. and want everyone to go, ooh, 
what's wrong with you? It's okay, we'll, we'll cry with you. We'll, here's some tissue, let's watch some girly sappy movies. We'll cry with you. Ew, get that off mm -hmm. of you. And the Lord said, I'm gonna give you a new gown. I'm gonna yes. give you a new garment. And my girlfriends were like, who is this girl? <laughs> you look hot. Why are you so radiant? We don't even understand. You just came out of this trial. You should be smelling a smoke. I went through a furnace not even smelling of smoke. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. I mean, we go through and this word, this word says, he shall give you beauty for ashes. Mm. I went in through a fiery furnace and he gave me beauty for my ashes. That's right. You know? And so we're talking, she, she talked about, oh, some of us, we just fall into that knockoff, knockoff uh, counterfeit. And I'm like, yeah. oh, that's so good because we, when you see your best girlfriend and you go, you look so great in that. I want to borrow that dress. You know what? You can get your own couture designer made hand tailored for you only dress of forgiveness of hope of beauty yeah it's for you you don't have to borrow it you that's get right. to have one all by your own self that's right. it belongs to you when there's a when there's a knockoff Prada or a knockoff a Gucci you can go buy the knockoff it will look smell feel just like the real thing yeah. and that's what Sarah was talking yeah. about Satan will give you that counterfeit it looks feels real and you even feel for a moment that it adds value into your life but then the real designer if mm. you know and you Amen. are closely knitted with the designer and the creator of that brand you can look in it and outside of it take a stand, step back and take a step in and you know it's not the real thing it's right not the real thing if God from the very beginning clothed Adam and Eve when sin entered the scene. He fashioned a garment for them. Then wouldn't it make sense that the one who comes against us, who's coming against the Lord, would try to then make a brand knockoff ever since the garden? Yeah. He has tried to fashion, he is the father of lies, he's a mm -hmm. deceiver, and he comes in and tries to convince us that the, the posture we're living in or the attitude we have is justified somehow. Self-pity, uh, vanity, materialism, whatever it is that's eating us away, he's saying, yep, this is the clothes for you. Walk in that. And the scripture says, no, walk in the Spirit, freshly garmented by, the, by Jesus Christ, indwelling us in his Holy Spirit. And y'all, I do say y'all because I'm from the South. <laughs> um, I just flew in from Atlanta, and it's a word in our vocabulary. But, um, but y'all, God, when he comes in, through the power of the resurrection and the crucifixion of our Jesus Christ, He afforded us a new wardrobe, a new entire outlook on life. When we are hurt, when we are persecuted, when we are betrayed, when things don't make sense, when ministry is confusing, when we're nobodies from nowhere, when we don't have it all together, let me be the first to admit to you, I don't have it all together. I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is I love the person of the living Lord Jesus and that I am convinced he's given us a new wardrobe and we are going to stand as women who acknowledge the counterfeit brand and say no more I want that tailor-made fitted walk and outfit like at the Oscars this yeah. this weekend happens to be the Oscars here in Los Angeles and I'm in town for one of my best friends galas tomorrow night and what a perfect day for a woman and I to enjoy a meal for our body, but also a meal for the Spirit on Rodeo Drive and have the Holy Spirit whisper in our heart, I have fitted you with a beautiful garment of praise, no longer a garment of heaviness. So for any of you that are wearing heaviness in whatever form that is for you, hurt, betrayal, frustration, maybe it's just flat out sin, whatever that is, acknowledge it please as a counterfeit brand and know that God, through the Son, Jesus Christ, has afforded you and actually fashioned specifically, just for you, a garment that is beautiful, that only through His indwelling Spirit can you walk in, as if you were walking on the Oscar red carpet. To live life and to, and to walk with our head held high knowing I am new, I am beautiful, and the posture that I have is one that God has given me. He has designed for me a life of the fruit of the Spirit, Galatians 5, 22, 
a garment of love, a garment of praise, a garment of forgiveness, of self-control, all of these things. So anything you're walking in that is not that, mm -hmm. stand against it and call it out as an outlet, mm -hmm. total counterfeit, mm -hmm. counterfeit knock-off brand, mm -hmm. and go to the designer. Mm -hmm. Greatest ways through his, his de design blueprint. I mean, Sarah just talked about the new spring collection right there. <laughs> the garment of praise, the oil of gladness. Awesome. I mean, that is love, joy, peace, yeah. kindness, goodness, faith, faithfulness, patience, self-control. She just, that is like a couture collection yes. that belongs to you, and it's actually priceless. It is. We were here sitting over on at Rodeo Drive, and we're like, these designers are nothing compared mm. to what the creator designer, the original couturier, created for us to have. And all we have to do is receive it. Yes. We don't have to go and get fitted for it because he fitted it Amen. for you specifically. You Amen. know, I was telling her, I've been working over 14 years in the fashion industry, and I thought, God, what are you doing? Like, I am just making clothes for people who have too many clothes. Where's, where's you know... You, you you anointed people to be you know police officers and nurses and doctors and mm. ministers and those are such noble things to do great things for you God what why am I sketching all day and making clothes for people to ha that have too many and he says to me actually I called you for a very specific purpose and he brought me to that word mm. in Genesis where he was the first one when the, when Adam and Eve committed sin. He, the first thing he ever did, he spoke everything into existence, but the first thing he ever did with his hands was he fashioned, he fashioned coverings for them mm -hmm. to cover them. He sacrificed a living, breathing piece of cre mm -hmm. his creation so that he could use their yeah. skin, their, that life to cover their sin. Mm -hmm. And he fashioned it perfectly tailor made for them for not for their sake but for his sake so that he can show them loving kindness show them grace so that he could remember that sin no more mm -hmm. that's what happened mm -hmm. when i just decided i'm going to forgive and i'm going to i'm going to cover that sin. jesus is going to cover that sin yeah. i can't do that cuz my wickedness will bring it into remembrance the enemy wants to torment me with those bad bad memories of that hurt and that pain and the betrayal and all the wrongs that I did and I committed against others. Like he'll bring that to you thinking that, no, you need to, you know what? Let's go put on that old moth eaten sweater right. because it's so comfortable right. to be in there. Throw it out, throw it out. Mm. It's okay. Yeah. You know, when you go through that fiery furnace, God wants to incinerate anything that is not of him. We pray for that. Yeah. We pray, God, take anything that is not of you out of the equation. And when he does it, we go, wow, how could you do this to me, God? He does it because of his loving kindness towards us. He prunes mm -hmm. something so that it could bear more fruit. Yeah. This is what he wants for us. And I'm just, ooh, ooh, I am so ferociously, like, just ferocious against the devil, praying ferociously against him for what he tried to rob me, rob so many of us, our sisters, mm -hmm. our brothers of, because we were content in the counterfeit. Yeah. He tried to pull one over us and, and cause us to believe a lie. Right. And God wants to say, I've got the best in store for you. Mm -hmm. Just cast off that, that fraud, cast, cast off that knockoff, and I've got a perfectly tailored couture gown, couture tailored, freshly made for you. Yeah. Praise and God. on that word, walk in the specific garment he has for you. I think that's where our, our conversation kind of ended itself with not comparing to one another mm -hmm. and not looking at someone else's garment and saying that, that was to be mine and not coveting. This goes back to the Old Testament, right, with the, the, the Ten Commandments. This is age old. And living in the city of Los Angeles, mm -hmm. coveting is a garment here. People wear that comparison it's unbelievable yeah. and the Lord is saying you know what I have made a beautiful garment for my godly women my daughters the ones who are royal the ones who are connected to me and that is a, a garment of complete contentment beauty security in Jesus Christ not an image not in materialism and indefinitely not in harboring against any one of our other sisters or brothers anything but laying that down just as Christ laid down his garments literally for us even when he was on the cross they removed his garments that's a beautiful picture for the one who made a garment for us they embarrassed him 
and removed his garments. And I think that's a word picture. That they when he was humiliation. Clothes. Yeah. He was humiliated. And, and they, when they removed that garment, they removed that from him. Mm -hmm. So that we could take up Christ as our garment. He laid down himself as a garment for us to where we can walk in newness of life clothed in Christ, clothed in Him. That is a beautiful thing, whether you're in Atlanta, Georgia, or Los Angeles, California, coast to coast, the garment is to be worn, and the designer is worth knowing. So we love you, we're excited to be here. I love my friend Rowena. It's so fun to be in LA, my second home. <laughs> well, God bless you all. We just thank you so much for listening to us. We yeah. just felt like we had to share this with you because it just, we just looked at each other and we're like, this is That's so good. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. So God bless you. We just thank you, thank the Lord that he's gonna cover you today with the garment of fine linen and yes. silk. Yes. If he could do it for us, he, he could can do, do it for, for anybody. You. <laughs> So God bless you guys. Thank you so much for listening in. And you can check out Plain Jane Project at www.plainjaneproject.com and establish her at establishher.com. .org, sorry, establishher.org. God bless you. Thank you. Look forward to talking to you again. Bye. Bye.